We fight till the bitter end. Dark Jean. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, come back. There we go. Medusa. Okay, that's the 31. Well, um, I don't even know. I want to use some other ones, but they're uh, they're not leveled up enough. I feel like I'd just be bringing a lamb to slaughter. Oh, it is. No, caster's not leveled up, and I don't have any experience to uh, level them up. So, Alexander... And fuck it, Saber Lily. Section 5 Dark Jean. Jean of Altar. Oh, there's Jean. Ugh. What on earth? Who knew? Who knew such a thing could happen? Could someone please pour some water on me? This is bad. It's awful. I think I'm really going to lose it. It's so funny I might die from laughing. Take a look, Gillis. Look at that pathetic girl. What is she, a wimp? A mouse? A worm? Either way, they're all the same. So puny. I can't even muster any sympathy. Ah, uh, truly. A country that could only cling to me. Comparing them to mice is an insult to mice. Hey, Gillis, don't you think so? Oh, I see. We didn't bring Gillis along. You. Who are you? I could ask the same of you. Right, as a leader, let me answer that. I am Jean d'Arc, the saint devoted to France. The other... Me. What? That's nonsense. You are no saint, just as I am no saint. But that is already a thing of the past. More importantly, why did you attack this town? Can't you see? I'm fucking evil! Why, you ask? As the same Jean d'Arc, I thought you would understand. Are you stupid now that your alignment has changed? The reason I attacked this city? What a foolish question. It's obvious, isn't it? It is for the sole purpose of destroying France. I am, after all, a servant. Politically, economically, these methods take too long. Is it not better to simply physically crush everything? Such foolishness. Such foolishness? The foolish ones are us, Jean d'Arc. Why did you want to save this country? Why did you want to bring salvation to these people? All the while knowing that they are the ones who spit on and betrayed us. That is... I will be fooled no longer. I will be betrayed no longer. I no longer hear the voice of the Lord. Wow, if this isn't split personality disorder at its finest, I don't know what it is. <laughs> The fact that I cannot hear his voice means the Lord no longer blesses this country. So, I will destroy it in accordance to the Lord's grief. I will cut away all the bad seeds at the roots. As long as the human race exists, so will my hatred. I will remake this France into a land of the dead. That's how I will save this country. By the hands of the new Jean d'Arc, reborn through death. I suppose you could never understand. Always playing the saint. Impossible for a pretty little holy virgin who pretends not to see hatred and joy and is incapable of human growth. I... No. What is human growth to servants if I can't... Read that, that kind of ruined my whole feng shui I was going there. <clears throat> what is human growth to servants? If you're going to call it something, you would rank uh, you would rank up as a heroic spirit. I don't quite understand that, but okay. 
There appears to be a noisy fly here. Should I kill it if it gets too annoying? Wait, what? The console's on fire! That servant can burn her enemies with just a glare? Are you really me? I have played my part for you so clearly, yet you still have doubts. This rage is an ugly justice. It's not that you cannot understand it. You do not even have the will to try. But I understand. Seeing you, I've realized all there is to the heroic spirit that is myself. You are neither ruler nor Jean d'Arc. You are nothing but some leftover resi residue that I threw away. If you were the same existence in class as I, then I should have felt something. But you are worthless, nothing but a ghost with a misguided effort to recreate history. Berserk Lancer, Berserk Assassin, finish off that country girl. You're getting tired of small prey, aren't you? Rejoice, they are strong. Among all the servants I summoned, your thirst for blood is the strongest. You exist to crush the brave, devour them to your heart's content. Very well. Now I will have your blood. Not so fast, my king. I would like to partake of her flesh and blood, as well as her insides. So greedy. And her soul? Who gets to take her soul? There is no gain in taking her soul. Do you think honor or reputation can maintain my beauty? Very well. Then I shall take her soul. It's quite ironic, though. I am able to understand her beauty only after I've fallen as a blood-sucking devil. Yes, that is precisely why I cannot hold back my emotions. I will not forgive anything more beautiful than me. No, more than that. The blood of those more beautiful than me can only evaluate my beauty. Ah, how fun it is to crush such fresh fruit. I'll throw away the skin, and just enjoy the juice. And this is the privilege of being a noble of the night. I'll squeeze every last drop out of you. Uh... Master! Let's do this. Right! Jean, get ready, they're coming! Uh, understood! Alright, Berserk Lancer and Berserk Assassin, was it? Otherwise known as Vlad Tepesh the third, the, the third? Yeah, it's the third. Uh, famous for being the inspiration for Dracula, so much so he has now become basically Dracula himself. And Berserk Assassin, Carmilla, a fictional vampire. Oh, come back. Fate likes to intertwine it and say that Carmilla is basically a future version of, uh, of Elizabeth Bathory. But Carmilla, as far as I can... T but Carmilla did take inspiration from the Elizabeth Bathory tales. Ah, no, I almost dropped my phone! Uh, takes inspiration from the Elizabeth Bathory tales. And actually, Carmilla predates uh, the Bram Stoker's Dracula. The more you know. Okay, let's kick his ass. <laughs> Enough of a history lesson. Let's kick ass and chew bubble gum. But I'm all out of gum. Alright, let's see. What else can I use? Um, there we go. Ow. Uh, let's see. There we go. So to give Medusa her, yeah, her noble phantasm. Or at least it would if, if fucking he wasn't a dick. I think it's feeling his noble phantasm about to come really hard right now. You're a human, right? Totally. Nailed it. 
Alright, jackass, how do you like horses? I'm about to stomp your goddamn brains in. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that horse's name, so I'm not going to even try. <laughs> Run now, vampire. <laughs> Who needs the Belmonts? <laughs> I got Medusa King... Uh, Knight Arthur, we'll just call her that, and a young Alexander the Great. I'm all set. <laughs> Oh look, Berserker tokens. Now that I don't need them anymore, I actually need gold ones so I can ascend Jean one more rank. <laughs> I can't believe you couldn't finish off a young girl. I wonder if you felt sympathy for her. Kindness doesn't suit you. It's not very monster-like, Dracul. Dracul? No way. Vlad III. Roma... Romania. Romania. I don't know why I wanted to say... Ro Romani's. Romani's famous pizza. Romania's greatest hero, also known as the Lord Impaler. Who knew you that you'd reveal my true name in front of others? I'm extremely displeased. What's wrong? I would rather be remembered by a bad name than not at all. Besides... I prefer to be called by my true name, Dread and Despair, faintly spiced with hope. The ones with the best cries are the little squirrels who think I can escape. But in the end, you were driven to ruin by the hands of those who actually escaped. That's like Bluebeard's in. Elizabeth Bathory, otherwise known as Carmilla. How humorous your tragic end was. Also, why the fuck is her name spelled like that? Never in history has Elizabeth Bathory's name ever been spelled with an S, as far as I know. And I actually looked that up. Type Moon. You had some weird choices. Also, again, Elizabeth Bathory is not the same person as Carmella, damn it! That really just bothers me the most. It's like they're trying... It's not like where Dracula knows... Or like... Vlad knows of Dracula. <laughs> like, Vlad knows of Dracula thanks to, like, the Holy Grail and the information and whatnot. And... Like, Dracula, the actual character summoned based upon the mythical creature... Uh, summoned... Is aware, I think, somewhat that he's based upon... Vlad Tepesh. Like, he might get the same idea that it is his name and whatnot, but it's not the same. The same is here. Carmilla is not Elizabeth Bathory. Or it's like, it, it should be the same sort of here. Like, Carmilla is not Elizabeth Bathory. Even in stories, they're completely different people. It, it's not like, I don't know. It just, it just really bugs me that she, they try to work that angle, saying that it's a future Elizabeth Bathory. The only problem is that Elizabeth Bathory, the rumors about her actually, like, taking blood to make herself youthful, came up 20 years after her death. I mean, she actually killed people. That's that, that's that's not up for debate. But the, the whole taking in the blood to make her beautiful thing, those rumors came along after her death. So... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a loose angle they're trying to play with this, and I'm, it bothers me. How boring. And that's why I don't like your kind. Even as you're damned as a vampire, you still cling to your noble heart. But you're a vampire, too! She mean to say that I cling to my faith, even now. Stop this instant. I told you that you could devour freely, but do not forget who is friend and foe. Turn your animosity to those little girls now. Save your petty squabbles for later. Ah, oh, you misunderstand, master. 
Secretly, I idolize Count Vlad as a leader. That's the first I've heard of it. Comparing idolizing with plotting assassination. Wow, they're fighting amongst themselves. It's a bad and work environment over there. Don't let your guard down, Master. They still intend to kill us. That they do.